Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to add fractions with different denominators. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at the uh, first question here, we've got three quarters plus seven eighths. And the problem that we have here is that they are not the same denominators. And if you've been watching uh, this particular video series, you know, in the previous video, we talked about how when you add two fractions, the two denominators must be the same. So at the moment, we've got three quarters and we've got seven eighths. So what we're going to do is we need to figure out how to change the three over four, um, where the four is now going to be an eight. Now, if you think about four and eight, the connection is that four times two is eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator by two. But remember, the, the, the beautiful thing about maths is that, you know, sometimes what you've got to do with the denominator, you've also got to do in the numerator. So the number remains the same. Uh, so we're looking for an equivalent fraction. So same thing as saying multiply by two at the top and multiply by two in the bottom of that fraction. Now, when we do this, we're going to get three times two, which is six, and then four times two, which is eight. So we've got six over eight plus seven over eight. Now that our denominators are the same, we can actually combine the denominator. And then we say six plus seven, which equals to 13. Let's have a look at question B here. Now with question B, what's happening is we've got five and four. So when you're actually dealing with um, fractions, you're most of the time you're actually working with uh, lowest common multiple. So between five and four, you want to try and figure out what the lowest common multiple is. Um, and of course, in this case, it's 20. Now, if you've forgotten how to do lowest common multiple, go back and check this video playlist. And I think um, it is right at the beginning. We talk about lowest common multiples. But anyway, um, in this case, we know that the lowest common multiple of five and four is 20. So what I'm going to do is I want to write two over five like this plus three over four. And I know that five times four is 20. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by four and the numerator by four. And as for the three quarters, I am going to multiply by five for the denominator and also multiply the numerator by five. So when I do this, I've actually got four times two, which happens to be eight, five times four, which happens to be 20, plus three times five, which is 15, and then four times five, which happens to be 20. Now at this point, I am actually gonna write this as 20, uh, as my common denominator because they are the same same numbers 15 plus 8 which equals to 23 now you might be wondering hang on why can't we just do 5 times 4 why do we need the lowest common multiple now sometimes uh, like how do I say this like with fractions especially when you start getting to the higher levels uh, when you start working with algebraic fractions you really want to understand the concept of um, finding the lowest common multiple so that's why I kind of encourage folks to always do it this way to find the lowest common multiple and then go from there. So, I mean, like a question C is a great example. Like if you think about it, you've got 10 and six and automatically you're thinking, well, I could just go 10 times six and six times 10, I know should be, should be fine. But we also know that the lowest common multiple between 10 and six is actually 30. So we don't actually need to multiply, cross multiply as some people like to do. So in this case, I'm gonna go six over 10, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap plus five over six and I'm going to multiply by three in the denominator and the numerator by three and on this side six times five for the denominator and five times five for the numerator and when I do this I am going to get six times three which happens to be 18 over 30 plus five times five which is 25 over 30. And because 30 is the same number, the same denominator, I can just leave 30 together. And then I've got 18 plus 25, which happens to be 43. Now folks, um, of course you are allowed calculator in the numeracy co-requisite, which means you can actually use the calculator for this. Um, however, don't get into the habit of just using calculator for everything. Practice these as well, because particularly when it comes to algebraic fractions, you won't be able to use um, the calculator for it. Now, how do we use the calculator for this? Well, we're just gonna, and, and I think most of the calculators have some sort of fraction button. So that is usually this, this button right here. So we're gonna go three, uh, we're gonna click on the bracket four, and we're gonna click on plus seven fraction eight. I think it wasn't supposed to be brackets, but anyway. 
And when I do this, as you can see, the answer is 13 over 8. Now, in terms of writing the answer as mixed um, fractions or improper fractions, it uh, really depends on the type of questions. Um, you know, some questions you might you might be better off writing them as decimal points, but there's nothing wrong in leaving your final answer as a fraction. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.